Hello everyone, welcome back. This is day two of plowing. I've got this little patch here and then a patch off the hill there. About an acre and a half total. We're gonna get this plowed, then I'm gonna try to get up to the uh, the farm where we got about 15 acres to plow. If we can get that done, uh, my farming partners plowed some yesterday as well. If we can get that done, then we'll only like the five acre patch uh, we call the pumpkin patch, but uh, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get try to get you a lot of footage throughout the day of us plowing. Don't know how much commentary there'll be with it, but uh, well, we'll talk a little bit. One thing I will talk about on this patch and the one below it, it's a hillside. I will plow it one way. I will plow out back up. That way, I'm a throwing the dirt all uphill. Uh, I've done videos in the past about that, but may talk some more about it. But uh, let's get these plows in the ground, get them set up, get them adjusted, get this knocked out. So here we go. Okay, we've got this little field done and the little one up on the hill. It takes a long time to do these because we're plowing one way, we're backing up. Stiff, heavy clay, they, it pulls harder. There's rocks in it, so it, it takes a little while to do that. Uh, you'll notice I didn't put an inland fur on here, and that's for erosion. I didn't on the other end either. But uh, now that we've got these done, now we're going to the farm where we can uh, cover some acreage a little quicker. So we're going to get loaded up, run five or six miles, and uh, get to plow on some good ground. So here we go. Okay, now we're in a field that we can plow. We've got five acres here, two acres up on that hill five acres here and eight acres up there to plow so we're uh, we're going to get started we're going to start in the middle like we did in yesterday's video and we'll get going we'll get you plenty of footage of the plows going so here we go
finished the video I started there yesterday, but the footage you just seen. But uh, we we've got. Somewhere between 10 and 15 acres left to plow. Uh, forecast is for a week's worth of rain, so we're going to try to uh, get as much done today as we can. I took off work uh, and uh, trying to get as much done as we can. You can see yesterday's work plus the uh, two little fields I worked on to begin with. You can also see the gray skies. I'll get you guys turned back around here. But uh, so this side is plowed. We got plowed the left side, then we got the uh, five acre uh, field that we had corn in last year, but we're putting pumpkins in it. This year we've had pumpkins in it in the past. But uh, couple questions I've had about more board plowing. Uh, plowing clay ground, if, uh, if you turn clay ground, it is hard to work up. The uh, best solution to that, that I found, is to turn in something to build the organic matter. Either a cover, cover crop or chicken litter or Refuge, if you keep turning that in and incorporating it in that clay, it breaks it down. Uh, it becomes uh, less clay, more organic. Uh, someone asked about the depth, how I came up with a seven inch depth on a 14 inch plow. According to the Ford 101 operating manual, whatever width plow you're plowing with, whether it be a 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, whatever. Whatever width they are, you should plow at half that width depth. So uh, so if it's a 14 inch plow, I'm gonna plow seven inches. But uh, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do right here, like I said, we've got all the other side of our plow. And uh, I've got this field here. This is the field we had pumpkins in last year. And then I've got the field running to the left, this side of the trees there, that's new ground to us that we're gonna, I'm gonna plow on them uh, hopefully today as well. So uh, you can see we cover crop this field, but with pumpkins and a lot of other crops that we grow, that's so late putting a cover crop in, you can see how much it grew. It, 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 there's a benefit to it, but uh, uh, a lot of the benefit is lost because of our timing. But uh, we're gonna to try to get you some footage of the plows uh, doing their job and uh, try to get this knocked out before the rain comes. So here we go.
board plowing, just to plow it is pointless to waste of time and money. Uh, the reason we do it is because of all the tillage techniques that we've tried, we have a better yield response, better crop, better growth, and more board plowing than any other type. Now, that's not to say that in different soil types, in different situations, in different crops, that no-till or limited tillage or uh, shank tillage, ripping, you know, uh, like a, a chisel plowing, may not do a better job for you than more board plowing. But in our particular situation, uh, and we've tried no tillage, we've tried just ripping, ripping, uh, light tillage, uh, our soil's shallow and uh, it just responds better to a more board plow than any other thing. Like I said, you know, let your soil dictate that. Uh, listen to your soil. It, uh, find what it likes and then that's the type of tillage. Uh, which is what we've done and that's why we use the more board plow. Uh, may have noticed I'm running kind of slow today uh, and yesterday I'm not running at my typical speed a couple of reasons for it uh, they are a few rocks in almost every field we have and uh, the harder you hit a rock the higher chance is the faster you hit a rock or a stump or something like that uh, the higher the chances are you breaking something uh, number two, rain compacts soil. Uh, the excessive amount of rain we've had in the past six, well, 12 to 18 months, uh, this soil is pretty compacted. Now, the rain ain't the only culprit there. Running over this last fall, harvesting, uh, cutting the silage off that over there, it does compact that soil. So, uh, it's a little more compacted, a little harder to turn than normal. Uh, let's see, what else was it? And we were running three tractors yesterday. We are running this tractor, the uh, big Kubota, and the small Kubota. So there's not as much of a rush. So phone's ringing. You gotta go.
Okay, we've uh, almost got our 2021 plowing done. We got this plowed. We've got all the other small fields. The only field we lack is the uh, five acre field, uh, the pumpkin patch, if you will. It's raining now. Uh, we would have probably got it plowed today, but uh, guy plowing with me there in the big Kubota broke a plow point. So we quit. We did get all this plowed. There's about 16 acres of that total. So uh, we got all hip plowed. It looks good. So we uh, hope you enjoy this video if you want to follow along with us and watch as we go forward and grow that this year uh hit the subscribe button hit that little notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video if you have a see a video you like give it a thumbs up if you have a question or a comment please do so we are loaded up uh this is my second trip i hauled the other Kubota in just a few minutes ago and we're loaded up and we're gonna get in i really didn't want to plow rest of that because my uh i need to put a set of shins and points on these plows they're shot after after that uh after plowing that and they've worn pretty good but uh, they don't have enough on them for another five acres so anyhow hope you enjoy this take care of yourself and we'll see you next time bye